Welcome to this tutorial. Here we're going to learn how to go from a basic spreadsheet that looks like this and create a fully functional dashboard like the one you see here utilizing Google Sheets. There are more advanced tools out there like Tableau and Power BI that focus specifically on dashboard creation, but those tools are more expensive and require more time to learn. I would argue that starting with a basic tool like Google Sheets is gonna get you most of the way there and only when you get stuck, when you feel that there's more functionality that you need on your dashboards than what Google Sheets can provide, this is when you go into more advanced tools. The data that we're going to utilize in this tutorial is available in the description below. I encourage you to copy the data, try to recreate the same dashboard or your own version of the dashboard. And as you develop your career as a data analyst, work on projects so you can showcase your capabilities to future employers. So let's get started. In this tutorial, we're gonna work through a five-step process as we see here. The first part of the process is scoping the project. We wanna talk with the key stakeholders, understand their requirements, what are the goals of having a dashboard, and we're gonna create some mock-ups. It's gonna be a very iterative process of going back and forth, just trying to design the basic details of the dashboard before we actually get started on the project. On step two, we're gonna gather the data, we're gonna familiarize ourselves with the data that is available, and we're going to clean that data, manipulate it, and get it ready so we can start building the dashboard itself. Step three is when we actually build the dashboard, we're gonna filter and sort the data that we have already cleaned and we're gonna build charts and graphs that we're gonna use and put together in this one dashboard. On step four, we're gonna format our dashboard, make it look clean and professional. This is gonna enhance the way we present and communicate and it's a step that is frequently overlooked by many of our dashboard creators. On our fifth and final step, we're gonna analyze and create some conclusions based on the data we have in our dashboard. So let's get started with the first step of scoping the project. In this phase is when we engage with the key stakeholders and gather all the requirements. Let's work through a hypothetical client where we want to establish the problem statement. To illustrate this, let's say we're working with a real estate company that is interested in analyzing the properties that they have sold in the last few years across five U.S. states, and they want to answer some basic questions for decision makings, such as what are the different property values across the different states, which states have the properties been increasing in value in the last few years, and which ones have been decreasing, and so on. After understanding the problem statement from the client, we decide to build a mock-up which is a quick and easy way of getting feedback from the customer before we actually start building the dashboard. We've narrowed down the problem statement into four main questions that we want to answer in our dashboard. So here is the mock-up that we're going to create. And the first question we want answers is what is the median price of the properties that have sold? To do this, we propose to create a histogram that shows the distribution of the properties based on their prices. And we suggest that we also add a scorecard right in the middle that shows the median price of all the properties that have sold. For this, we're going to require the sales price for each one of the properties. Moving to the second question, we want to understand if the prices have increased or decreased in the last few years. For this, we propose to create a time series or a line chart, as we see here, where we're basically showing the median price of all the properties that have sold across the last few years. This should give us an idea if they're trending up or down or staying flat. And for this, we're also going to require the sales price and the year of sale of every property that we have. The third question that we have narrowed down is what is the price per square footage? Here we propose to create a linear regression model where we're plotting the square foot as a function of the price and we can fit this to a straight line where the slope is gonna be a first tab at approximating what the price per square footage is. For the time being, let's assume that the client is happy with this approach and for this we will require the sales price and the square footage of every property. And the fourth and last question we want to answer is what percentage of the properties are new and we have defined new as that they have been built on the year 2000 or later. 
For this, we propose to create a bar chart. The nice thing about creating mockups is we can go and show this to our clients and get feedback from them. So for example, they might ask us to replace that bar chart with some sort of a pie or donut chart as we can do here very quickly before we have actually started working on the project. The data that we're gonna need is the year that the properties have been built. In addition, we propose to have a table at the bottom that shows each one of the properties that we're analyzing. And given that they work in five states, we propose to add a filter on the top right corner where dashboard users can filter all this data by the individual states that they have. For this filter, we will require the state where every property is located. So here we are showcasing what the dashboard that has been approved by our client is going to look like. And once we have buy-in, we can start developing it. To summarize, this is the data that we're going to require to gather. So in the next video, we're going to start working with this data and manipulating and cleaning it up and getting it ready so we can start building the graphs and charts that we're going to use in our dashboard. If you're enjoying this tutorial, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video.